Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where I'm sitting here scratching my head. I've already restarted the game. I can't get anybody to install any of these. I am right-clicking on them, and I'm wondering if I'm just having a major brain fart or what. Weird. This one's going there. Diamond? Can't do that, and neither can anybody else that I've tried. What am I doing wrong? Um, Handy. Handy. There you are. Okay. Let's just right click. I can't right click. I can do the, the pots, but I can't make them move them. Really odd. You, I don't know where you came from, so I just click over here. Got nobody associated with that one. That one's associated with that one. So let's cancel that. Put that one over there again. And David, can you now? I can't get a right click in there. Cannot work on plant pot now. Cannot work on that. Why can't I make them move that? What am I, what am I, am I losing my mind here or what? I don't get it. So we're just gonna have to let them do it on their own. I mean, let's, okay, let's try a new spot. If you won't go there, uh, let's reinstall to here. And now David cannot do it. It's not like anybody else has the order. This has been sitting here for quite some time. That's really weird. Let's take you and cancel. Put you, reinstall, right there. Click Kaya, right click on it. I get no information except for the granite blocks for the pots. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. I'm confused. You're going where? You are heading off to that corner. All right, let's get randomly. Miss a P, you're kind of heading to bed right now. Can you? What is going on? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. I don't know. Well, we either say that uh, you know Rimworld just had an aneurysm, or or I'm having a senior moment. I'm not sure, but maybe they will show up someday all by themselves. <laughs> um. All right, so we've got plant pots being planted. We've got more being built. We've got flooring going in. Ah, we've got, um, <laughs> well, the the orbital power beam targeter was one of the things we wanted over here. We've got some shelf units being built. So what goes in these shelf units? Let's think about that. Not you, right there. The thought was, clear all, we put in some some powerful weapons, some, some bragging rights. So ranged, sure. We'll do these guys. We only have one of them. Um, sure, triple rocket launcher and the doomsday. Where are you? Right there, rocket launcher. And what else would look really impressive out over here? Boy, it's noisy in the background. I guess I, maybe I have my speakers turn up too loud. Um, incendiary launcher, that sounds impressive. Wow, they stripped that down. <laughs> I think we have too many pigs and not enough stuff to haul. Wow. Um, we have, well, well, we still have a little bit of room there. Oh, I just saw a skeleton go by. Alicia's busy. Yep, she's, she's clearing the bodies. Um, what else was there in here? Recurve short, sniper, orbital, pila. I guess that's enough to look impressive. So let's, where am I? Right over here. Let's copy. Clear all important. These will go to critical. We'll override anything happening over there in the armory. Okay, so you're a copy. Three clicks, you're a paste, and when these two get built, we'll do the same thing. We'll see what uh, what lands in here and how that... Oh, this guy, the Psychic Insanity Lance, that probably should uh, finally get put somewhere. One more time, there we go. So you are going to go in here too. Uh, wooden shelf, there we are, storage. Psychic Insanity Lance, where did we find that last time? Uh, items, it was in artifacts. There you are, insanity. Well, we'll do all the artifacts. Okay, so now you copy, paste, and no, 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 Matador, no, no, no. Klaus, you, can you, like, get these guys built for me? I'd appreciate it. Let's just, uh, let's just make that happen. Um, the door over here that reminded me, I did a little alteration over here. No, actually, I changed my mind. Oh, no, that's right, all right. I, I did two or three different things here between uh, episodes, but ended up with a new machining table and access to the steel. 
So I see we have to get power. Hmm. Reclick. There you go. So get a second person in here making armor vests or something. We'll set that up later though. Um, still waiting to find out who's going to drop off our, our statues. Uh, Shantigo, are you capable of it now? Right click. Ooh, now we can. All right. What was it? Now I can see one or two of them not working because somebody got the order to go and do it. But, well, that one is in and that one is in. Maybe they actually did get the order to go do it. And they got it from, you know, way over here or something. Boy, that was odd. Huh. Okay, I'll just, I'll just leave them alone. They apparently know what they're doing. Shantigo must be done with making meals. Yep, our kibble's up. So, he is on cleaning mode as, as his back up. And Handy's just getting the last of these little things in. I did do a bit of a change over here because it was just looking really weird. So I decided to put wood around the outside. And let's put wood on the inside. Uh, Muffalo's pregnant. Uh-huh. Let's do wood and blue. Actually, wood and green looks pretty good. Boy, we wasted a lot of, a lot of cloth over here. Wood and green looks good. Forest green and brown are good combinations. Um, sure. I think it would look better than the blue. Let's try that. So we have a green theme going on down here. Actually, it should be kind of be the, hmm, thinking the the red shirts in Star Trek. It's, you know, these these four rooms would be for the the ones that didn't make it. But nah, we'll go with green. Anyway, floor, red, uh, green carpet. Sure, we'll do raid. Pause. Are we not paused? Where's the raid? We've got. Oh. Oh, a group of mechanoids. You know, I was actually wishing that two or three episodes ago, thinking we've got a perfectly good stock or dumping pile over there for some dead mechanoids, and it'd be nice to uh, to get a few of them. And <laughs> wow, um, from a mechanoid hive have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Jump to location. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Um. Wow. Yeah. That's more than we've ever taken on before. One, two, three, four, five. Various. And one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got the heavy charge blaster. You've got the inferno cannon. One, two, three, four inferno cannons. Oh. Whoo. Yeah. I can see 20 minutes setting this one up. We're about to die. That's a lot of firepower coming in. That's a lot of firepower coming in. I mean, that really is a lot of firepower coming in. How does the... It's gone. The... Orbital beam targeting system work. Is it like a... Mortar in that... When you fire it, it takes quite a while to actually count down and hit, in which case you have no idea where they're going to be when that countdown is over. Where did it go? What other shelves have we built lately that got everything moved down to it? I wish there was more of a inventory locator system with this game. So I could double click on it somewhere and it'll show me where... What, what's the red here? Oh, no, don't... don't what is the red here? Oh, red for the color, the caribou leather going in. Yeah, that's a brown right there. I never noticed that it changed color on the squares. Granite right there, the, the granite flooring going in. This would be, what's under there? Limestone, so it went for a yellow square. I never noticed there was a different color for the blueprint squares. Huh. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking we need to do something a little more significant this time while they're still a distance away. And using that orbital beam targeter might be one of them. Using our... Um, whoa, 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 wait a minute, I saw something. Nope, that's a skeleton. <laughs> that's Alicia. <laughs> we could use this guy on them. The Psychic Insanity Lance. Does it work on mechanoids, though? Versus something that can actually go insane. 
you'd need a this would need to inject a virus into an AI, not so much a you know a, a psychic wave that that makes things insane. Does it say uh, one use drives any character into berserk state from any distance? Any character, I think that's their way of saying yes, it works on mechanoids, but it doesn't make sense to me. Um, so we have that. I don't know where that other device went. It should be like. Seems like I would have put it right here with these guys, had it gone back into the uh, armory. I'm not seeing any randomness on those shelves. We know those are good. Um, only other shelves that I've built have right over here. That's where they are. Okay. Well, while I'm thinking of it, you copy, you paste, you paste. Let's look at you. You are... An ancient targeting unit for a network of power collection satellites. Once aimed at a target, it directs ancient satellites to begin beaming power down in a massive column of electromagnetic energy. Ooh, EMP grenades. Let's remember that. Um, electromagnetic energy. That sounds good. This power can safely be collected into a, a giant absorption dish. Since you have no absorption dish... You'll be aiming it at enemies, at which point the power column will turn the area into a thousand degree inferno. This will last until the satellite detects the unsafe targeting, shuts themselves down, and permanently deactivates the targeter. Um, that's still... Warm up three seconds. Okay. Hmm. So, I'm guessing that that means that once I say go... Three seconds later, it's going to go boom. So we could say go right here and take out the whole group when it hits right here. Three seconds away. We're not going to be able to catch these guys. They're going to be out of the blast range three seconds later. But these guys we could do some damage to with that. These guys we could do is like a insanity lance. So it's like we're a couple of major aces up our sleeves that we've had for a while. We even have a Doomsday rocket launcher, though it has a distance. The Psychic Insanity Lance is has no distance. Um, right here. That's a flagstone. Limestone flagstone. No. Um, there we go. This one, even through walls from any distance. They, they're specific in pointing that out. They're not so specific in pointing it out here. So, there you are. Uh, begins beaming down this thousand degrees. Uh, detects unsafe permanently. It doesn't give me a sense of any distance. Deterioration rate, beauty. That's the object itself and the warm-up. That's all I get. I'm guessing it's any distance. But I might be wrong. We may have to stand out there and stare at it. You know, like setting a laser to guide a missile in. In which case, we're, we're going to be dead in three seconds. Hmm. We'll have to experiment with that. Do we have any other choices? Um, we've asked some big things to be brought down. They're not here yet. We've got over in here, where they used to be, a doomsday rocket launcher. You do have a distance. Range of 40. That's a pretty good range. That's a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle's 45. No. I know the bolt action was 45. That was the furthest, right? Bolt action. The range of 37. What's a sniper? Range of 45. Okay, so the bolt action isn't as far. Okay. So, 45. A 40 away. So, you need to be... Unless they go through doors, they could do this and go, and they still got to go all the way around and go through here and come in like this. So they're coming in from here no matter what, which means the doomsday needs to be sitting right there. I think so. And then, actually, no, they got to go all the way through here and come in over here. Doomsday needs to be sitting right over here to hit right there. Okay, so Doomsday needs to be there, and I am making the guess that both this guy and this guy have no distance limits. What do you think? Um, Eric, that sounds like you, since you're melee. Why don't you equip? Ah, this is use it immediately. This is equip. That spooks me. It sounds like 
you actually have a distance. What's all that noise? Like thunder. Outdoors, clear. Huh. Don't know. Now that you've got it, what can you do with it? Eric, where'd you go? There you are. So you've got that instead. Um, orbital. He's not drafted. If I do this, what do you do with it? Let's let's attack killer here, just just out of curiosity. Right click, melee attack, fire at, cannot hit target. So I've I've got to be in range, and I don't know what the distance is. I was worried about that. Hmm. Where do we want, you know, a fire storm unleashed onto our map, where we're within distance of it to fire it? Don't know. I think we're going to maybe set that one aside for now. Um, Eric instead, well, Kaya, why don't you, we could do this and just watch the show for a moment. Let's activate this onto our lead scyther and just see how it works. Middle scyther? Yeah. Did that work? Or do I need to right click? Don't know. I didn't. It didn't make another noise. Let me right-click it instead. Or it may be that it's not going to work on a machine. Kaya, one more time. Right-click, activate. Let me right-click instead of left-click. See if that makes a difference. Boy, you guys are a long way away. Okay, right-click in. Didn't work. And left-click just made a normal click. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens when we let her go. And then we got to get everybody set up. So Kaya, you ignored it. Yeah. So one more time activate and let's try the the uh, left click one more time see I'm not getting the sense it's highlighting anything so nothing if I did it to a person does it do it does it act differently Kaya right there right click activate on yeah see the circle it won't give me a circle on a machine so that strategy is gone I can circle there I can't circle these guys they can't go insane Okay, you're done. So that's not going to happen. Hmm. I could, I could send an ostrich at them, but it's just going to distract them. It's not going to harm them unless they accidentally shoot each other. Okay. Well. Hmm. Lots of thought. I have a feeling next episode's the actual battle. Dogs, you need to get into the kibble zone, but I want to get you guys working through all of this. We're going to expand the kibble zone for the day. I think that is our best plan. Pigs, you're going to be in the kibble zone too. Right there. But I want you to continue doing stuff. Right there and there. So kibble zone, let's expand you right there. Kibble. So you can continue doing what? Let's get you into here. Like so. Stocking up or blocks. Um, connect the dots like so what else is there for them to be doing um, I could do this and send a path through like that and I guess up through this corridor like that okay and into here and let's get this set up for skeletons corpses um, they're all human-like. Allow colonists? No, so stranger corpses. And allow rotten. I think that gets our skeletons qualified. The dogs and pigs could be doing that. And let's go ahead and expand that last little square. Stockpile, let's move you into there. Okay. Um, so we can get 12. I think it's a 3 by 4 Well, plus a, mine is a switch. So 11 of these guys moved over while the dogs are doing their thing. Um... Otherwise, anywhere else that's really important that the animals get to go while we're doing this. Probably to get kibble. So, kibble zone. You're over here. Let's expand into here. And, yep, on up into there. And you can have this whole area there. Okay. So, they can do all that. Anything else that's important for them to be doing. Don't 
think there's a lot in the base that's truly critical right now for the animals to be hauling. We've got plenty of, of hay over there. We've got um, plenty of hay for these guys. Yeah, I think we're fine there. Okay. Um, yeah, Alicia's hide, hauling her body. Um, okay, so that's animals. I think so. Except for maybe... Um, who is that? Faith's rat and um, squirrel. But I think they're okay where they are. Um, so let's do a roll call. How... How are we going to use these folks? Tomasov needs to get a meal. Let's do it this way. Where are you at? You're over there. Why don't you run down, grab a meal. What are my meals looking like? Six, eight, five. So work on the six. Let's draft you. Let's do it that way. So consume meal. And then you're going, I don't know where. You're going out in the middle of there. Handy. You two. Most everybody got up early and ate. And so they've already worked through most of their meals. So we're going to have to deal with that. So you draft, grab a meal, and head out into here too. I'm sure there's going to be some that are ready to do something. Rabbit, you're iffy. This is going to last a while, and you're going to break in the middle. I just have a feeling. Do I have anybody who's eaten recently? Right there, Shantico has. And yeah, you're ready to go. So any more? Um, that button. Wow, we're hurting. There was Manuela, Melee, and Gnarly, who's just getting up. Okay, so Gnarly, let's get you out here and Shantigo out here. Let's just get you to here right now. Shantigo, you draft you here right now as well. We'll figure out where to actually put you after that. So everybody else just grab a meal and get ready for a long, long battle. So Handy, you are grabbing a meal and heading up into there. Okay. So we've got Rabbit. I need you down, grab a meal. There's just going to be a crowded dining room for a little bit. Draft meal up. That's three out of that stack. And drop you into here. And let me zoom out a little bit so we can do this a little easier. Uh, Shantigo's done. Klaus, and you are actually there, consuming a meal. I'm going to draft you, I'm going to grab that meal again, and then send you out into here. And as you guys are heading into there, I'll be able to, uh, to bring you, to spread you out where you need to go. You're in this area already. Now, what is the fastest dining room to get to? If we do this from this point right here, that distance down, over, up, there, and back. Is that any different from this distance over? It looks basically the same. It does. In fact, this looks a little bit better. So let's take you in there. You're number four from that pile. Uh, consume, and then you're heading out into here. And next we've got Cathra. Same situation. And this also gets everybody corralled into the base and away from whatever's coming. There's five. I'm going to call that good in case I miscounted. You're going there next. So next stack gets home. Natalia, you are sleeping. Um, you are night owl, just not night owl, but your night crew just because it was good to have a doctor on staff at night. So you could be up doing this. So let's get you out here to grab a meal. Draft and... Consume a fine meal out of a stack of eight. All right. You're heading to here next. We've got Michael. And you're good for half a day. Let's get you into here. Draft. There's seven out of eight. You're going there next. We've got Miss B, who is a night owl, who's going to get cranky by being up during the day. Hmm. Um, it is 1700. No, your days, your, your sleep's about done. We're going to call that good. Your draft, you're number six out of here. And you're heading to here next. Okay, next. We've got Alicia, who's going to be so thrilled to not be playing with dead bodies anymore. She's very joy. She's not getting joy out of this. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> let's get you over here. Grab five out of that. And drop into here. Next is Eric. Your melee. 
All right. Scratch your heads with me. What on earth do you do against these guys with melee? You lob mortars at them with melee, don't you? I think that's it. Or you grab a hold of the dogs took it already? Guys, knock it off. Oh, it's right there. Whew. <laughs> I didn't see it. I thought it I thought Keller was hauling it away again. Um do we get Eric somewhere with that and find out what happens? If he's sitting right here, how can they get to him? They can go around this way and get into this area. Okay. Otherwise, from here, we're blocked there. 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 They can go through this. They can go through this and come in. Okay. Eric, you're going to try it. We're going to see what this thing does. Maybe. Where'd you go? You're down here. Eric, you're going to... You're going to... You're already drafted. Okay. You're going to equip it. Your food was... Not in the best of shape, but you're not here for the whole battle. You're just here to figure out what this thing does. Okay, that's Eric. David, you're sleeping. You're ready to get up. Um, you're too far away from a mortar. Don't know what to do with you right now. Who else is in here that is melee? Anybody? Anybody up in here that's melee? Sangria, Alicia, uh... Over here, Radar Vliss, Tomislav. All my melee people are where? There's a rabbit. Um, up in here, Faith, Bill, and Wella. You're up in that area. You guys need to come down anyway. Um, Faith can't do it. Manuela can. And Bill can. Manuela's in good shape, too. Manuela, run down and grab this guy. Steal this... Uh, uh, man the steel mortar there. And Bill... You're already heading down to grab a, a meal. You're kind of done. Okay. Uh, other names. Diamond's in here. Um, George is over here. Ready to... Actually, you can do... Yeah, you can do a mortar. You can do that. Pop over here and do that. Okay. I got as far as David and kind of drew a blank. I don't think there's anything I can do with you right now. I can get you that meal, though. And then... You're probably just going to grab leathers and build chairs back and forth for the rest of the day anyway. I'll let you do your thing. Grandma, you are. You're needing to rest. You are set for making a large sculpture and you're about to get so angry with me. You go get a meal and you go to bed. I, apparently I got you stuck in there and now your, your rest is all messed up. So you can do that and that's number four out of that stack of eight. Okay, next is Bill who is grabbing a meal already. Where'd you grab the meal from? Just out of curiosity. You're heading into... You're going that way. Okay, so I didn't mess up anybody else. See stars. Melee. Ready to get done. And then you are mining. So you're going to mine immediately. You're not going to go for food. So your nearest mining is probably out in here. So you're probably safe. You're probably not going to be heading outside to go and mine up in here. I would guess so. Yeah. So you're fine. Um, Kaya, you are over here. You are needing food. Let's get that done, draft. And as far as I know, you're number three out of that stack. Then you're heading up into here. We've got Faith, who just needs to not be up there anymore. Which means we need to give Faith a new job description. Yeah, Faith, I think you're a cleaner for a little while. So we can figure out what else to do with you. So Faith, you are not going to be plant cut anymore. You're now going to be cleaning. And we're going to get you a meal. Just to get you down here so you can start cleaning from this point. You start in the kitchen and whatnot. So you're number two from over there. And continue through our list. we got 28 of these to go through. Roll call is, is quite... Roll call is an is, is episode all by itself now. Manuela, melee, you're already manning a mortar. Okay, radar, you are needing a meal, and then you're going to use your assault rifle. 
Oh, there's that. We need snipers. We need more distance on these guys. Yeah, assaults aren't long enough. Huh. Well, come get a meal. I'm going to say we're done with that stack now. You're going here. So the first ones that come in here get to move over to here and grab some sniper rifles. Yeah. Um, any other snipers inside the base that have been... There's a charge in the base. Otherwise, nothing else has been accidentally brought in. No, it looks like everything's in the armory. Okay, except for our melee weapons over in here. Just for fun. Um, we're at radar and you're, you're figured out. Cyprian, you are making statues and all of them have been hauled away. Okay, they got them all figured out. Hmm, I wonder if I told Cyprian or Billy to haul statues at the end of last episode, which is two days ago for me, and then forgot about that. And that's why they were already queued up. That might explain it. Because it's, it's, it just seemed weird that there would be so many of them randomly chosen when hauling an object in is not one of their higher priorities. You know, building the carpet is more a, a higher priority. Cyprian, you, I guess, continue doing what you're doing, which is going to be down here, most likely. Yeah, good. You're fine, then. Bliss, let's get a meal on you. You've got a assault rifle. Maybe be a sniper soon. Draft, grab from this stack over here, which has five. So four left over there. You drop into here. And... You know, I just looked over and realized I didn't set my timer. <laughs> I have no idea what how far I've been into this now. Billy, you are melee. You are over here. You're sleeping. You're going to be getting up, grabbing a meal, and then you will be working on on sculptures. So you're going to be fine through this, George. You're operating a turret. Diamond, you are cleaning dirt. Get need to get use of your weapons. So pop over here. There's now three left in this stack. And then you're heading for here. That didn't work, did it? Why did that not work? You... Okay, let's try that again. I thought I right-clicked on there. Maybe I didn't. You are... There we go. Let's... Clear all of that. Okay, let's do that over. There. I mean, you must have been stuck in a door or something. Then you're going to here. Okay, now it's happy. Now we've got Daniel. So we're getting near the end. Daniel, you are going to grab one of these meals too. And you are heading out into here. And we've got Oath Knight. Who... Where are you right now? Oh, you were right there near the, near the entrance. Okay. You... Well, it's the same distance, so yeah, come on over, grab the last meal in this stack. No, nope, gotta do that. And then... I really don't want to use a minigun on this, but this may be the last battle of this series, so... Yeah, it, we'll just let him do his, his spray and pray, and we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Then we got Gnarly. Gnarly, you have already been assigned, right? Yeah, you're already on your way out to, to go pew pew. Um, let's get a sniper on you. Let's rethink that one. You, not shoddy. What we got here? We got a good sniper right there. Equip. And then you're heading out to to the center. Someone else was... No, who else was I? Shantigo, where were you headed? Unknown. Shantigo. Is there a line on you? There is. You are going out. Oh, you're going to the to this area. Okay. Let's get a sniper on you. And that was a good... Let's do this one good one right there and then you're going out to to here they're either coming around and going in or they're going to work their way through there and come in and maybe work their way through or here depending on who they detect is out the dogs are all going in i think we have all the peoples going in the pigs are all going in we have no other animals out there unless uh, a squirrel has or a rat has followed uh, faith around they're set for Unlimited, right? Uh, you're up in here. These two are set for... No, they're set for Kibble Zone. It's not truly following her. Okay, then that's fine. That's fine. Um, what else is there to do before I let this thing loose? You are going to set Force Target on lead this guy. And... 
I should get a third person to do those. Let's, they're going to be slow. We should just take them out. We should. Um, pretty sure we picked this one. You are going to set a force target on... Uh, we'll pick another one right there. And who would be a good... All right, who's sleeping? Boy, it's a long way. Long, long walk in, though. David, though, needs... Your rest is fine. Um, other melee. Who do we have here? Sea Stars, you're in actually a little bit better shape. You're just as far away. Bill, you are already going to be doing it, right? No, you're going for a meal. It was George it was going to be. But, yeah, you you need that meal. But so does George. You're in just as bad a shape. Hmm. Um, okay, let's do this. Where'd Bill go? You're up here already. No, Bill... Oh, you're way up there. Okay. Who else is in this area? Manuela, you're already working on one. We've got Cyprian. You're down there. A little better shape. I'm thinking getting three people running immediately, three people getting meals and going over to stand next to them and we'll swap them out. That might work out. So because we may actually get you know, 10 rounds into these guys before they finally get near us. So that could really help us. Maybe we should really make a mortar uh, uh, tactic a part of this. Not just uh, lob a couple and say that was fun, but make that uh, significant uh, part of the plan. So Cyprian, let's get you working on this one. And Bill, let's get you, you're heading over there, let's get you to draft and consume this meal and then park yourself right here so I can see you. And George, you... I'm seeing a line right there. What am I not getting? Operating turret. George, where are you? You're right there. Why is your line going down to here? We're not resetting. You're operating turret, but you're going to here. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. There you go. <laughs> Rimworld, you're playing with my head. Oath Knight, Daniel, Diamond, Billy is... Hmm. I'd say he's one to do this. Let's draft you, get you a meal, and then bring you out to here as well. And then I need someone else to take... No, Manuel is fine. She's she's ready to go. Where are you at? You're up in this area. You're in good shape. So you don't need to be replaced. Okay. So with that, let's get this one aimed as well. You are going to target off into... Uh, you can take the lead one as well. We may have to adjust this as we go. So, Eric is heading out to here. Is that correct? Right there. I saw that line there and got confused. You're heading to there... We have a sniper going there and a sniper going there, and we have the the orbital trade the orbital thingy right there, power beam target are going to there. Three people, and we may adjust and go somewhere else nearby if that's necessary, if that's possible. Okay, so with that, um, yeah, what do, do I wait for next episode to actually get this going, or I don't know how long I've been doing this. I'm thinking we're Maybe a half hour into this. Oh, that's the noise I was hearing. We're taking down piggies. They're not very good. The pigs are... Oh, man. Well, we're distracting them. Okay. So that pig is out of there. Who else is in the area? Nobody that's moving like this one is. Like it's got a mission. You are not one of ours. Okay, so we're fine there. Um, you guys are officially watching for targets. Everybody, oh, you're moving, but you're watching for targets. Oh, the noises they make. And they're off, and they're off fast. So they're on their way in. They're on the move. I see them getting there before we get into position. We may actually have a problem there. I see them getting into the base this time. I mean, the steel traps are, are significant. And we did get quite a few of them done. We got all the way to here. Wood afterward. All the doors are closed. Yeah. Hopefully they're not smart enough to just take this door out and be done with us. Mm, gotta wonder. Um, Catherine, what are you doing? You're going down to get a meal. Yeah, you just got your gun out already. Okay. 
So, tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to make this a shorter episode. You see where we're up against? You see what I've done so far? What do you know about the Eric? About the orbital power beam targeter? Uh, um, EMP grenades. Who would... Okay. That's something we've got to bring into it. So, next time, we need to pick two of them? EMPs. Two of them. That have got those. I wish I had more. Frags were in good shape. EMPs. Now, yeah, there's so many of them. It's such a long cooldown. By the time you throw it and hit it, whoever wasn't affected is already shooting you. So that's pretty iffy. I mean, I'd love to use them, but I don't really know how and keep all these guys alive. Don't have that many episodes left. My goal was to get everybody through the, the whole series, and I want to, I want to accomplish that. So I want to do everything smart. Not just throw them out there and say, oh well. I want to actually strategize through everything as if we were actually there doing this and not wanting any casualties. But you've seen what we're up against. You see what I've done so far. What else would you do? Doomsday Rocket. Where would you go with it? Who would you put it on? And, and where would you do it? As they're coming around, hit right here. That's possible. So Doomsday is a possibility. We have the incendiary, but I don't think it's going to do any good. We're just going to light everything on fire out there. We're not going to really light our, light them on fire. Distance on the incendiary is 24. Well within their range. Their range, as a reminder, scythers are right there. Gear charge lance goes out 37. That's the same as the, as the assault rifle, which is why we got to worry about the assault rifles and everybody. Assault rifle right there and range of 31. Oh, so it's the assault rifle is going to be well within range of those guys. These guys up here, the one I really don't like, the Inferno Cannon that lights everything on fire. Gear, your range is not as long as 27. And the Charge Lance, we saw that one shooting the, uh, or was it these guys? It's the same sort of thing. I think it's shoot a, an energy beam. Your distance is 27 also. So 27 on these guys and 37 on these guys. So in between the bolt action and the uh, uh, the sniper on those. So that's what we're up against. Six of them and five of them. And the five are going to come in fast. Which means aiming things is not going to be easy. Why is it so dark out? Well, it's 6 p.m. already. But still, it just seems like it should be more yellow. Huh. Anyway, that's the challenge. Let me know what you think. And we'll make it more of a group effort to take this this group down. I think that this is going to be our toughest battle to date. These guys have got some serious firepower, and they've got speed, and they've got distance. The other ones, yeah, we, we were able to outsmart them, but this one's just, just brute force. They're just going to punch their way through. We could be in trouble this time. So let me know what you think. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.